So you might be thinking, I want to create an animation like this, dynamic simulation, but your pieces are hitting each other and they're falling away and they are not really uh, behaving as you expect them to behave. So I will show you a, a really easy trick that I use when I want to kind of force in a fake way uh, the dynamic stimulation to follow uh, the position that I want it to follow. So in this scene, as you can see, I have these uh, lights and a camera and a plane and this is just for the background so that it's uh, easier to understand what's going on. And if I go to frame zero and press play, as you can see, this is happening. And all of these cubes uh, have uh, this soft body tag and I have moved them up uh, so that they fall down and I was expecting, I really want them to fall in place and not to bounce off each other. And to do that, it's, it's kind of very hard to do it if you are trying to uh, change these settings or whatever. So there's a really interesting little trick that I use to force them in place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move them um, down to their original locations so that I can uh, see that they are fitting nicely. And I usually leave a little bit of a gap because for simulations, especially soft body simulations, you have to leave a small gap because then the simulation just works better. Now if I press the play, uh, as you can see, nothing's happening because, well, they are uh, already in place. So what you can do here is you can select all of these cubes, you can search for a fracture, uh, hold down Control alt enter so this will become apparent of all of these, uh, and now you can add a step effector, and you can disable the scale, enable this position, and increase this uh, to something like, uh, well, whatever you want. In my case, I'm going to do this. So the reason why this cube um, um, went down is because this transform space needs to be at effector in my case, because I rotated this uh, cube before. So now if you press the animation, as you can see, it's very similar to what was before. And the trick is to create a, to enable this follow position, let's say two, and follow rotation also to two. And as you can see, now these cubes are trying to go back to their original position. But the problem is that Cinema 4D thinks that the original position of these cubes is the one in the air. So what you can do to fix that, you can very simply click on the step effector, you can go to frame one, you can click this, uh, create a keyframe here, and on the frame zero, you can change this to zero centimeters. And now, if you press the animation, you can see that they are already um, trying to go to their original positions. Now, there's one more problem here because these cubes, these uh, shapes, are, uh, they are, it's not working uh, as you, they are still kind of hitting each other. So what you can do, uh, one more thing you can do is take all of these collision um, tags and change this friction to let's say 10% and now as you can see they are not really influencing each other uh, as much and they are falling in place and if you zoom in you can even see that they are kind of trying to go uh, closer together and you can change these settings here uh, because you can change these settings to whatever works for you and that's it that's how easy it is if you like this if you learned something then uh, you know please uh, share this video if you want all of your other friends uh, learn the same thing even if they are not using Cinema 4D and even if they are not interested in it uh, just share it and you know you never know what's gonna happen